what is up my embers hopefully i didn't scare you too bad we're gonna be doing my makeup today it's getting very much stressed out right now um i just self tanned so that is why i'm in a robe so let's just not even pay attention to that okay my camera actually came in but i can't use my camera yet because i'm waiting for the adapter piece and i need to get this video by tomorrow so if I filmed this on my camera, it'd probably be better quality, but it wouldn't be able to be up until Saturday or Sunday. So we're just gonna do this for today and I'll film another makeup tutorial when, with my camera whenever I can. But before we get into this video, if you guys are new here, if you guys have never seen my face before, make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to go so you can get notified every single time we post. We post, I post. Sometimes I post two videos a week, sometimes I post one, but it's never gonna be none, okay? This is probably gonna be a longer video, so make sure you grab your tea, your coffee, your snacks, or something like that. I have this like positive energy, or perfect energy, tangerine tea and a pomegranate green tea. And it is so good. Tea has been like my new thing. I don't know, hot coffee, like I go in and out with it. I can't find a good creamer. I love my coffee mate hazelnut creamer, but ain't nobody trying to drink vegetable oil. So here we are. Also today, I'm super excited to try this new powder. I ran out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I picked up Huda Beauty Pound Cake, which is an actual color, not translucent. So I'm a little scared, but we'll see how it turns out. I already moisturized, washed my face and all that stuff. The first thing I'm gonna use is this, this NYX brow pencil in chocolate. So let's go ahead and just do my brows. I feel like everybody has been asking me for a makeup tutorial recently. So I'm like, let me just give the people what they want and make another video. This bun is not giving, girl. Like it's really not. Let me clip this up. Okay, so we're just gonna ignore the fact that I look like a granny right now, but um, it is so hard for me to film makeup tutorials because I use this mirror all the time and I don't know, I just feel like I can never successfully show you guys how I actually do my makeup. So if I'm looking down, I am so sorry, girl. So I just do light strokes in the front and then I do a very soft line on the bottom of my brow and then I come over here and do my arch okay sorry y'all I already did my eyebrows that was an important phone call just kidding one of my sisters called me and Basically, I just filled in the rest of my eyebrows and then I used the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer to carve out the bottom with the Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. I literally have like six of these brushes. If you don't have these to carve out your eyebrows, you need to get them, okay? They are literally like a dollar or something like that. So now we're gonna do our foundation. I'm saying it like we're doing this together. Maybe we are, I don't know. I really almost did a little slip. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, that's not what we're doing today. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I just wanna know, like, how are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? What videos do you guys wanna see from me? Um, I am still in a very weird place in my life. Um, I move very, very soon. I'm so excited so ready to be around my family and just look how red my face just got and around people who love me and just ground myself again with people who love me and love Prince. so now i'm gonna use the Too faced no this is not Too faced now i'm gonna use the hourglass um vanish stick in ivory but when i'm not using this When I'm not using this, I use the Maybelline 30 hour foundation. This is so good. It's just empty. So I'm using this one. This is very oily. So if you have oily skin, you probably are not going to want to use this. Um, and I literally just draw over my face like a freaking canvas. Love that for me. But yeah, I am so ready to move. So ready to be doing so Ow! I just hit my nose ring. That literally hurt so bad. I'm so ready to be doing social media full time and I am so thankful for the constant support from you guys like come through Ambers. I will also be 
really really actually doing my merch i know i've said this for so long i will actually be like launching and stuff whenever i move i just feel like right now with me about to move and everything i don't want to like start the process and then it's just so complicated so i would rather just wait until you know i'm at home and i'm in my own stable environment and stuff like that but yeah i also have really been thinking about starting a podcast because I know that it's like super in right now and there's a lot of you guys that say that like you could listen to me talk for hours which I like honestly don't understand how that's possible ever like in life I'm not sure why you guys would want to listen to me talk for hours not hours but like an hour straight but definitely if you guys want me to do a podcast and listen to me like in your car or something or like while you're working out let me know girl I have not been working out at all recently i just feel like life after time change has literally hit me so hard and i lost a lot of motivation for a lot of things that i was doing prior to time change i don't know what happened i i guess it was kind of just like wow i've made it this far and i just started to f not fall into my old um routines and stuff but i don't know like Obviously, you're going to be so inspired at the beginning of the year and you're going to want to do all these things. It's just the fact of like keeping up with them. I know this foundation looks so crazy right now, but I'm self-tanning and it's still developing. So my body will be darker later tonight whenever I have to go to work. Yeah, I just feel like it's so hard to always stay motivated and I don't know. I am just not, in, I'm not in a stable place in my life and I feel like it's hard to be stable in what I want to do and all the things that I've like set up for myself when I know I'm about to move and like all this stuff. I just need to stop making excuses for myself and go. But a lot of it has been just like me being so tired. Like I have not been able to get up early since time change at all. Like before I would get up like an hour before Prince gets up and now I get up like 10 minutes before he gets up. And Prince gets up like way later now because of time change. My nose looks huge right now. That tea bag just hit me in the face. Anyways, not a tea bag. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I was trying to buy a house before. Okay, I'm not trying to buy one anymore because something happened. So I can't really buy a house. I gotta get an apartment. And I put my stuff into like one of these mortgage websites or whatever and they will not stop calling me like they literally this is the same concealer as earlier is the LA Pro Conceal in Cool Nude and they literally have not stopped calling me and I've blocked this number so many times like how are you still able to call me and I've literally blocked you that makes absolutely no sense to me. Also y'all I just got finished I watched Cocaine Cowboys on Netflix and I also watched Night Stalker. And why was it both so good and entertaining? I love that for me. I love stuff like that. For me, it's really hard to watch stuff that I know is not real. So I I feel like I always like have to watch stuff that is like real. Like, did I say that right? I always have to watch stuff that's real because I can't just sit there and watch like fake shit you know what i mean it's just kind of hard because i feel like i always need to be like learning something but like in an entertaining way like for instance like boy movies like the marvel movies transformers star wars like all that stuff i could not sit down and watch that because no i just can't I'm not going for it okay this brush i got from ulta beauty this is the angled foundation brush and i'm just gonna use this to contour with and basically i'm just gonna squeeze some of this la pro conceal out this is the shade toffee so i'm literally just gonna like tap my brush on it and then y'all will see i just tap it on my face like that and then put it on my forehead and i try to make sure to get it into my hairline because sometimes my scalp is like super white because it doesn't ever see the sun because of all my freaking hair so yeah, and I literally just blend it with this brush. It's so easy, such an easy way to cream contour. A bronzer I really highly don't recommend is the Milk This. I do not recommend this. This is the Milk Matte Bronzer Stick in Baked. 
that bronzer stick is so patchy it will literally leave patches on your head and it is so embarrassing because I don't self tan my face like I self tan my body but I don't self tan my face and throughout the day I would literally have white spots on my forehead like that is disgusting and I just try to like use the rest of the bronzer that's left on the brush to like do the other parts of my face yeah so I'm gonna just pick up a little bit more I'm like so ready to move though also because like because like not all of the space is mine like in my room or anything I can't like like obviously I could decorate it the way I want to but I'm about to move like somebody commented on one of my videos you're so pretty why don't you have like plants and candles and stuff in the background of your videos and I'm like girlfriend because the struggle is real that's why my makeup looks so crazy trust the process girl I'm going to be taking the same white and wild concealer brush and I'm going to contour my nose. So I just go down my nose like that. And then I go on the bottom of my nose and I make a little like button thing. And then I always like take it and use the rest of the concealer in my eye like that. And then I use the Real Techniques um this is just like a little fluffy brush and i blend out my nose contour and this brush makes it so easy like it literally does it in two seconds i swear look how fast it just did that that is crazy i also have been reading my bible a lot more which is gay me um i contour my lips sometimes too so i'm just gonna use the rest what's on my brush and just put it under there like that oh my gosh my neck looks terrible i didn't get to exfoliate my old self tanner before i put on my new one so we'll see what it looks like like that's old self tanner but that's neither here nor there i couldn't find my freaking exfoliating mitt i was so sad now we are going to blend out our concealer and i always use the real techniques sponges they're cheap and it's like the best sponge ever. I'm really excited to use this Huda Beauty powder. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Main thing I don't like about the Laura Mercier powder is it literally still creases under my eyes. I'm like, what is this life? Like, I don't understand. What is the point of that powder if you're still gonna crease under my eyeballs? You know what I mean? Like, what the heck? I need to get more concealer too. I'm about to run out soon. Okay, so I'm just blending out my concealer. My hair is really not giving right now, but it's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw this away because it's old and I don't need it. And I'm going to open my Huda Beauty powder pound cake. I'm kind of nervous though, because this is one color. And if it's one color and my face is two different colors because I contoured, I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm gonna use my little eyebrow scissors to open this. Oh, this is what she looks like. This is so cute on the back. It says pack under the eye, T-zone, corners of mouth, chin, let set, bake for 35 minutes, dust. I don't know if I'm gonna let this bake, but yeah. So it has this little, well, it's like a little cushion, period. What a beauty. So my concealer has already creased again. My nose is running off. Blend it out my concealer again and I put some on the sponge and oh my gosh it literally smells good what the heck it smells like grapes or something I don't know that's kind of crazy see this is the thing it's lighter than my foundation so if I turn into Casper the pale ugly ghost I guess that's just what's gonna happen. But it literally smells so good. It's kind of confusing how it comes out because it comes out on like a net. And I'm literally just going to pat this into my entire face because like I said, this foundation is super, super oily, which is good for my skin because I have like pretty dry skin, but it just gets oily so fast. Wait look under my eyes that literally looks like a filter what the heck oh my gosh it's so good 
It's a little hard to get out of the thing, but look, okay, look at my forehead and then I'm gonna set it and look. Like what the heck? I feel like everyone has asked me so many times to do a makeup tutorial and I'm like, I feel like I've done a million, but I guess it's just because filming me doing my makeup isn't my favorite thing to do because when I do my makeup, um, it's very therapeutic for me. I like to watch something when I do my makeup and I don't like to sit here and like talk and stuff. I don't know. I'm just very like in my own little zone whenever I do my makeup. So it's not that I don't like filming makeup content. It's just that like normally it's like my little like me time, I guess. So now my face is like all the same color. I don't really know how I feel about that. I think I might have to get two different powders because now my face is like all one color. But if you guys have the Huda Beauty powder, let me know. Do you guys have two different colors of it or what? Because, but now I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette in Medium. I literally use this color and then sometimes I put this in like the deeper part of my cheekbones. This brush is the Morphe M530 brush. I'm just going to contour. Before I used the Laura Mercier powder, I used to always use the RCMA powder, but over time I just like kind of stopped liking it. All right, now I'm gonna be using the same palette. I'm just gonna kind of dip into both of them. And this is, this is, um, I don't know. I would set this on like an Ipsy bag or something. This is the BH Cosmetics or I don't know. I don't know what brush this is, but it looks just like this. Um, Elf has one, not Elf. Wet n Wild has one that's like kind of similar to it. This is the Wet n Wild brush. This is what it looks like. And yeah, I don't know. That was just a little um, fluffier. This one's more dense, so I like to use this one. Just like the cream contour, I just kind of go down the side of my nose. Well, it's more like the front. I feel like nose contour is so important. Like, well, some girls don't have to, but girl, if I don't contour my nose, I'm gonna be out here looking crazy. So I just went across the end of my nose and I did a little line above it. So it makes like a little circle. And then, I bring it into my eye and do the same to the other side. So it looks like that. And then I use the Morphe E8 brush and I just blend it out. This makes it super easy to blend out. Easier is better for me. I am not like, I know that blending is key to makeup, but I hate having to sit there and like literally do it for hours like your girl be trying to get her makeup done and be over with it so that's what my nose looks like my lips are bothering me so i'm about to exfoliate this foundation off my lips and if this robe moves one more time this robe is from killer queen lashes on instagram i'll put her her um information in the description box but i'm just gonna be using the mint and lips thing from lush and scrubbing this concealer off my lips if you guys have watched Night Stalker down below, let me know your thoughts about the ending, like the girls and stuff that like thought he was like fine as wine because of what he did, like you're disgusting. So now that I have a little bit of color back to my face and I look like a normal human being now, I'm gonna be using the BH Studio Pro brush. I don't know what brush this is, but this is what it looks like. And I feel like this is everyone's favorite blush right now because my friend Amanda uses it, Corey uses it, like everybody uses this blush and it is the cutest thing ever. It is the Essence Super Cheap Blush, Essence Mosaic Blush and The Berry Connection. And this is what it looks like. And I just put like quite a bit of it on my brush and isn't that so cute? It's like very much Barbie doll pink and I feel like it could look good on anybody. I kind of put like way too much on the side, but period. And then I always put a little bit on my forehead. So it's like that. And then I'm just put some on the sides of my nose. All right, so now I'm gonna spray my face and then I'm gonna put highlighter on. So that was the MAC Prep and Prime um, spray. And this is a fan from Dollar Tree. Girl, you can literally go get you a cute one for a dollar 
please let me know if you guys want more makeup like videos more get ready me with me's like anything like that look how cute this fan is are you joking me no but i definitely do need to fix the background of my videos because this is not it but y'all be asking to see my makeup so i'm like well i'm gotta show them how i do it my forehead is always the last part to dry okay so now that my face is like all dewy again my favorite highlighter right now is the makeup revolution highlighter in just my type i'll have all the makeup down below i'm gonna be using this morphe m510 brush and i just put it in here like this like look at that it's so pretty and i have to turn this way to see but i literally just put it on there like that it's so pretty i can't I put some on my chin for my nose. This is like the key to my nose contour. This thing just like really wants to expose me for everything that I don't have. So the key to my nose contour is the Morphe 213 brush and this highlighter. So I'm just gonna put some on the brush and then I put a little dot, it's not really little, on the end of my nose like that. And I take the brush and I make a little line and then I blend it out with my finger. And that is how I get my nose to be so bright and shiny like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. I'm also gonna put it on my eyebrow bone, but I need to put, so one thing about me is I hardly ever use eyeshadow now. I used to always do like different looks and stuff, but for me, just like the basic, basic, bronzer in the crease does good for me so i'm just gonna use my same bronzer that i was using earlier and this is a this is morphe m573 brush and i'm just gonna fluff that right into my crease and it literally is so cute and takes literally no time but the crazy thing is like i know a lot of people ask me about my makeup and then i post a makeup tutorial and then like nobody watches it i'm like so what do you want what do you want from me that's another reason why i never post my makeup because nobody likes to watch that stuff okay so now that it looks like that i'm gonna use the same highlighter and put some more on my little brush that i was using earlier and i just put it on like the high point of my brow bone like that. Okay, so that's how I like it to look. And then I'm gonna take this color secret. This is this is dark brown color. It really doesn't matter, just as long as it's a dark brown. This is in the Ring the Alarm Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just gonna do a very thin line on the top of my lid. I'll show you. these are my favorite lashes of all time they're by be extra beauty in the style virgo as you can see i'm a virgo so the fact that my favorite lashes are in virgo is like insane to me i'm like how did i ever find this perfect lash and i'm a virgo and they're virgo lashes like that's crazy let me take off my old glue because girl i've been using these like 20 times so my favorite lash glue is the kiss um aloe lash glue and they finally fixed it for a while. It was like burning my eyeballs so bad. And I was like, what's going on? Like, I like literally like after I would take my eyelashes off, like it would be a red line on my lash line. And I'm like, I've been using this for so long. Like what happened? So thankfully they fixed it. I'm pretty sure they had to cause people probably thought they were all of a sudden allergic to lash glue or something. I'm just gonna let those sit there and dry. And then I'm gonna put lash glue on my actual eyelid because baby girl if i don't do this my lashes will literally come off and then i just like try to wipe off the extra glue that i got on my eye yeah so that's what it looks like and i literally have these everywhere i have one in my purse one in my car because you never know when you're gonna need lash glue but while my lashes are drying i'm gonna do my lips and before i was using charlotte tilbury pillow top oh wait it's my purse let me go get it okay you guys so my favorite lip liner right now is the it took me forever to find a lip liner that it wasn't super expensive that is like the perfect nude and this is the lip liner in nyx nude truffle i'm gonna overline my lips 
and then I'm gonna use clear lip gloss. It's like a brown, a brown nude, like a perfect brown nude, not too brown. I just like kind of fill it in a little bit. It looks like a hot mess, but then I just put lip gloss on it. It looks fine. This is just a clear gloss. You can use whatever clear gloss. It really doesn't matter. So then it looks like this and I kind of don't like it at first because it's a little dark, but then I got beef jerky y'all. But then once it gets lighter, it's like cuter. I've been doing my lashes for a while, so I literally just popped them on. I'm gonna try to show you guys, but. It literally looks like that. And then I'm gonna put the other lash on. Hold on, y'all. Okay, this one's kind of messed up. I don't know what is going on with this eyelash. Hold on. So now they look like this. I'm gonna put mascara over them. This is just the Essence mascara. So this is literally my every single day makeup routine. I literally do this makeup every time before I film my TikTok videos, all that stuff. And this makeup also looks really good without lashes as well. I love wearing this makeup without lashes. Um, if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials or makeup videos from me, just let me know, girl. I just don't be knowing. Like, should I? I don't know. But I really love this makeup. And this is what it looks like close up. But yeah, this is what the makeup looks like. It is so pretty and not too much and you can wear this day or night. I always, this is literally all I ever do for my makeup every single time. If you guys want to see me do different makeup looks, just let me know. I would definitely love to do different makeup looks for you guys. I just don't be knowing if that's something that y'all want to see. But definitely if you guys do want to see that, just let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have any other questions about my makeup, just leave a comment down below and I will answer that for you guys. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for making it all the way to the end and being a true Amber, a true supporter. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. And before the video is over, make sure you guys, if you guys are not already, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, girl. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye.